Hello, today we're going to talk about the tray snippet library and how to use snippets. So first off, what is a snippet? A snippet is a pre-formatted step or group of steps that you can drop directly into any workflow while you're building. They help you build faster and they help implement best practices for all builders, including new builders and advanced builders. We can see this from our documentation site. Um, there's a section that gives you a little bit more of a rundown, some examples, and has convenient links to the snippet library, which lives within our templates area. You can see we've filtered by snippets, and it's really as simple as going to any one of the existing snippets, copying, going to a workflow, and pasting it in. You'll need to do some of the actual setup to make sure these are configured correctly, but as another example, this very simple one related to Google Sheets, is there, or you could drop something in like this pre-formatted script that allows you and even gives you test data to filter by a specific date. Um, again, one more, I can delete these. If I go back, we even have uh, something as complex as a pagination architecture that you can just copy right from here, come to your workflow, paste it in, and then we drop in some example services, but you can replace those which, with whatever is most relevant to your use case or what services you're using. Now, one other thing that I'll point out is you can go to the details page of any of these snippets to get a little bit more information and also a visual on what you're actually going to be importing. So you can see that on these details pages, you would have seen a little bit more about what is to come and a bit more information in the write-up. That is it for snippets. Hopefully um, people enjoy these and find pasting them into their workflows very easy and help you get started even faster. Let us know what else you'd like to see in the snippet library and happy building.